to be honest, I don't know if I would also be able to put this back together. Yeah, gunk is here, so this is due to that uh, specific o-ring there. So let's continue. Hello guys and welcome once again to a new video. Uh, in today's video I'm working on this uh, uh, bean to, to cup uh, machine from Crops. This is a EA81 series machine and the problem with this one is that um, we have some leakage, uh, basically some coffee leaking underneath uh, the unit right here. There is here um, a leaking point or how is it called, um, a hole or drainage. And basically the problem is that we have coffee coming out from here and the less from here. So I already know what's the problem with this. This is due to an old destroyed uh, uh, gasket or o-ring located in the heater element of this uh, unit. And this gasket, I ordered it already. You can see it here. It's a strange shaped cone like uh, gasket. And the ordering code is MS501-5004 for those of you who want to um, order it. And it's called a joint seal made in Italy. And it was produced in 19 of July this year. So. Yeah, please uh, pay attention uh, from the manufacturing date because, you know, rubber decayed with age. So, yeah. So, let's go to start disassembling this and change this. I can tell you from the beginning, it's not an easy task. You have to disassemble the, the majority of this, uh, of this unit. So, let's stop talking a lot and start disassembling. So hopefully you can see what I am doing here. I will try to um, to keep in focus uh, the entire working area here. Um, even though I don't have a wider uh, lens, I'm filming with my, my cell phone. So let's start. First of all, uh, we have to remove all the accessories course and then um, we will need to um, use uh, a star shaped uh, bit but until that let's let's also remove this part So the grinder here, container, we have two screws here and here. I think I covered uh, the disassemble of this uh, type of units already in my previous videos. Okay, don't, don't forget to pay attention to this seal, don't lose it. Okay, here we will need to remove this. And here we have access to three additional screws. One over here. And one over here. And one over here. There is still one screw way inside here. So for this we need a longer screwdriver.
the bit is exactly the same. And we also have two additional screws over here. Okay, then we will need to remove the front cover. If I remember correctly, this is has to be pushed upwards. Yeah, and then it will be completely off. And here we have some additional screws, one here, one here, and two here for the control board same uh, same bit d10 torx star shape Let's remove the upper part here first, like this, and recover the screw. Let's not lose also the screws over here. Good. And now, with the sliding motion in the opposite direction, we have to slide this. But for this, we have to remove these two screws from here. From here and here. Otherwise, they will keep the, the sliding case in. Ah, don't forget to remove the manual if you have this. And we also forgot to remove the... Uh, container for the used coffee so I think now we have all the accessories removed and let's try and remove these two screws from here They are always the stubborn ones, so when I open this type of machines, I always have problems with these screws here. They are always not willing to come out and making my life so hard. have one and I think we have the second one yes good 
let's put them for safekeeping. Don't worry for uh, if you mix up the, the screws, they are basically the same length, so no problem. Good. So now what we have to do is uh, remove the, the front cover and then the full assembly here has to be pushed aside. First, let's remove the coffee nozzle. And there are two additional screws, one over here and one over here. And two down here, one here and one on the other side. And then we can completely remove the front panel. And we have this screw here. It's a little bit difficult to remove. But we manage. And the last one here. Let's also remove the front panel. There are two tabs on each side of the front panel. There are two tabs that will release it. And here it's actually the connector. We have here this nozzle that can be also removed and then we have a full um, front uh, cover disassembled. this and that's it good and now well just uh, for your information I have already uh, opened this unit before and here it was a lot of gunk old coffee um, as you can see also here there is a lot of coffee spilled uh, that already indicates that um, uh, yeah you, you have a problem with this uh, specific um, uh, to seal and um, yeah noticing this seal is uh, is the problem I have go in further and order this 
But now, due to the sake of changing it and showing you how to do it, uh, I'm doing this uh, this video. So I already cleaned here uh, as much as I could. Um, so, but you cannot imagine how dirty and uh, with old coffee and uh, already molded coffee it was uh, over here. So yeah, let's uh, go further and um, disassemble further. So first of all, let's remove this um, grinder assembly. There are some screws over here, one here and one over here. We will remove this one. Okay. And for this one, we will use this. Screwdriver. As I said, all the, it's really nice that all the screws are actually the uh, T10 torques. So this is connected. This uh, grinder is connected to the main board. We will have to dis, uh, remove the connector. The connector is this big white connector. All you have to do is just uh, pry it up or pull it and work your way the entire way here until you reach this part here and then you can slide it up and completely remove the grinder part. Take this opportunity to clean it a little bit however you want. Remove all the old coffee or everything from it. I ran out of uh, space to to put all the all the parts. <laughs> Good. So a lot of coffee here, but no problem. Good. Then we will need to remove some connections here. First, this part, which is the um, the sensor for the heating element and then this um, this uh, three power connections over here and I think this is enough so we can only Put this um, this upper part in a specific position to give us the possibility to reach the heater element. So like this. So yeah, let's also remove this. Um, this part here, so the this piston. It will this would would also be a good opportunity for you to clean it. Please don't do what I did here and lose the this part. But anyway, we will recover it. And now, additionally, we have three screws. One is over here, and two are over here. 
they are the same. So this is the way to change this with the minimum, minimum effort. Of course, if you want, you can completely disassemble it. This is the procedure you would have also to, to remove this part. If you went this far, maybe it's a good idea to lube everything for a better operation. But in my case, this is a speed run. So I will only do the minimum necessary. in order to change this. And now we should have full access to this part. Look how dirty and grimy everything is. So guys, this is how the unit looks like. So at this point, I think uh, any any other um, newcomer will say, "Okay, this is this is crazy. How can you put this everything back together?" To be honest, I don't know if I would also be able to put this back together. Yeah, I'm kidding. So what you have to do now from this point is open up this screw together with the same screw on the other side. And inside of this, it's the, the actual uh, gasket that we have to, to change. I will also take the, the chance to, to clean a little bit everything here. So you can see what uh, already how much grind and uh, yeah gunk is here. So this is due to that uh, specific o-ring there. So let's continue. Okay, so for this you will need two screw, two um, star uh, head screwdrivers. One will be holding up on this side, and one will be on this side. Be careful that this has a, a spring here. So be careful not to shoot someone with this spring. So already sensing it, it's, it's loose and it's loose already. So you see, there's a lot of coffee here, indicates that the coffee is coming back on the other side and this is not good with the same piston we will have to push up this part over here and completely remove this we will also clean this part here and you can see here inside the gasket So you see it see it already has a lot of holes inside and on this part is completely ripped. So Let's change it with the new one. Of 
already sensing that this new one is much better. But let's also clean this. If we are here. So for this you can use a solution based on uh, on alcohol or uh, citric acid or you can also use vinegar that's uh, yeah also really good Okay. I think it looks okay. Let's put the new o ring. It's really simple, just put it on the spot and then push it inside should snap right into place like that and now i think we can assemble everything back together but first let's uh let's clean a little bit this uh this part here We will also have to clean this part here. Okay.
good so now we can um, ah I forgot we also have to clean this part here you can see a lot of coffee old coffees here so this has to be addressed all these small uh, holes need to be completely cleaned otherwise the coffee will not have the necessary flow please be careful not to lose this specific um, a screw because this is uh, a stainless steel screw so even though you will find uh, a spare one with the same dimension it will not stay be stainless steel and you will have problems with uh, with rust okay So we managed to clean this also and now I think we can completely assemble it. Let's see through the light if all the microscopic pinholes are, are unplugged and this, yes there are. And now I think we can completely reassemble. this first we will screw this with the hand just a little bit and then we will do this with the screwdriver Already sensing resistance. That's it. Okay. We are fine let's recover this small part from here and make a little bit of cleaningness over here let's use a small cloth to remove all the remains Look how dirty this can be. Oh my god. So much dirtiness. So this is the best that we can do. Yeah. So we are done with this part. Let's reassemble everything back together the process is exactly the same we only have to do it backwards so we will put this back in place 
take the three screws that we already have here, put one over here, one over here. here. Good. Now we can put back this part. And let's route all the cables. Back into the design area. Okay, let's connect everything back. This one is here. And let's put the, the grinding mechanism back in place. And the grinder spindle. The two screws. here let's route the cables and connect the connector back in place here like this and I think with this beside the the part in front the front panel we have everything connected let's put back uh, 
this um, piston. And let's put also the the grinder cleaner. Okay, let's put back the front cover. It should snap in place. Clicks. screws one over here and the other one over here Okay, then two over here. Ah, we forgot to put the, the front cover, this one, and to connect this part here, but nevertheless, should snap in place with the clips and then we still have access to connect the connector like this. So now everything is, is connected. Let's continue. Another one over here. Okay. The coffee nozzle which has to be connected over here, like this. And now we have to put the side cover. This has to slide 
into position and just be careful not to puncture any or pinch any holes there are some holes over here so be careful on this hose not to pinch it otherwise the water flow will not uh, go as intended And now we have to put the four screws in front. You can see better this way. Okay, and now we can put the front trim back into place. It just has to slide a bit down like this. good and now these two screws over here Okay, and then the upper part. The unit. Comes like this. First put the front side. Then the back side should snap in place like this here we have one here one screw over here then we need to put the grinder first of all we need to put the gasket over here. Here we should have two screws, one over here.
and the one on this side. Let's put back this part here. This should snap in place. We can put a lid already. Go work here. Here then this part. with one screw over here one over here and the last one over here And we can put back the accessories. So yeah guys, this is how you completely disassemble, change this dam uh, uh, o-ring or gasket however you want to call it and fully reassembled so if you have the problem with water coming uh, coffee coming actually from this point all over your countertop then this is how to do it hopefully you found this uh, video uh, good for you helpful if yes I would really appreciate a thumbs up Maybe consider subscribing and please consider writing me on uh, on the chat below or in the comment section. If you have any, any question, I will gladly help you with suggestions. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.